uh, hello operator, did you want to take our dungeon master tip? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> talk about shining with dice today. Uh, dice are the most obvious sign of success in, in Dungeons & Dragons, and most role-playing games for that matter. While there are certainly other ways to identify success, this is the most clear. As DMs, when a player character rolls high, it's our job to make the player's character shine. Giving the players as many opportunities to shine and look cool while they do it. This encourages engagement and proactive playing by the players. This isn't just limited to high rolls, though. It's been my experience that low rolls tend to be met with size and loss of tension and excitement. Instead of using the low dice rolls to reflect a failure on the character's part, instead, turn it around so there's a moment where the defender shines in a glorious moment. Your tall, lanky blade master rushes towards the black dragonborn with a blade flurry of almost impossible to see strikes. Dark dragon-like figure manages to answer your flurry with a quick footwork and is able to avoid some of the blows. The few that do hit home have their impact weakened by its dance and are unable to penetrate its scaly hide. A toothy grin stares back at you. Can I give you inspiration? Can we give him inspiration? <laughs> That's inspiration. <laughs> Somebody give him an Oscar. Do you do voiceovers? I I don't. It's 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 my goal after I finish this job, though. You need to. You, you should open up a Fiverr account immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh when we actually at that one convention in Lansing, mm -hmm. when you, you had an ogre swing down on my Goliath Barbarian who was raging, and I used the racial features to negate all the damage. He just stopped it. I'm like, yeah. I extend my hand and kiss the hammer. And you're like, the ogre is very confused. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of that scene in uh, uh, Justice League where Superman stops the axe and he just goes, not impressed. <laughs> Anyway, so what are you? What are your thoughts on this uh, this player tip here, uh, 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 Or for the dungeon master tip, one hundred percent, absolutely, I love it. Um, mm -hmm. There are fewer things I find uh, more immersion breaking than a player saying, "Hey, I rolled a 13. and the DM just replying, "You missed." I hate that. Like, there should be a dance. There should be description. And honestly, if you're trying to fill a full session and you didn't prep a lot, like I don't, um, <laughs> then adding more of that descriptor, stretching it out, talking about the glancing blow, or if it hits how the blade sinks into the flesh and you see it pull apart and blood splatter. I love that so much. Painting a mental image with your words yeah. does so much to create an experience that your players will want to come back to. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Although I'll admit, I usually always use the brief descriptions in a lot of the games I run, but that's because, especially for like the game I run for my brother's group, we only have about an hour and a half, two hours. So we, that's we fair. Think long. That is fair. <laughs> well, and the, the <laughs> thing I was going with with this was also the fact that we always are so gung ho to, oh, that's a high roll. Here's the description. We forget that the low roll isn't a failure on the player character's fault, or but it's the defenses or the 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 whatever of the other person. One that comes to mind is when a fighter rolls really low on an attack roll against a wizard that has mage armor. There should be some sort of description of how the magic is absorbing the blast and and and, and you know sending out a shockwave of ringing noise or something. Not that you just missed, you know, and, you know, you stumbled over it. There should be something there that the other character did to cause that miss, I guess. So. Yes. And you can, I, I, I'll, I'll add to that. You can make your, if you're trying to make this fight a little bit more tense, you can add so much to it with that. Your barbarian rolls a nat one as he brings down his gargantuan battle axe. And it, instead of just saying, oh, you missed and hit yourself in the toe. Say the big bad just reached up and caught the blade one-handed. Oh, yes. That is so much more impactful. <laughs> Mechanically, the exact same thing happened. You missed. But the descriptor mm -hmm. changes the entire encounter. And how the scene looks, and that's that's important. So, All He right. felt the deck of the enemy. He caught it with his teeth. Uh, <laughs> um, Dungeon Master, my blade was poisoned. Does he choke? <laughs> I mean, he caught it with his fingers. All right. I think that'll do it for our Dungeon Master tip. Shining with dice. Uh.